Welcome to today's episode of the Dawn and Ram Family Kitchen. In today's video, we are going to show you how to make masala jai. Okay, so this is one of our traditional drinks. Amazing. And let me just give it a taste. Bismillah rahman rahim. That is, that is superb because it's got everything that you want in there. It's got milk in there. It's got uh, some cinnamon in there and that taste really comes out. It's got many other ingredients in there. So delicious, a really good way to just finish off with a meal. Um, it just washes it down. Just, it's just got everything that you're looking for in a hot beverage. So that said, let's move on to the recipe itself. Okay, add in two cups of water for it to boil. Second cup of water there, that's it, that's all done. So you can use um, tea bags, but I've got these uh, tea leaves over here. So I'm gonna add in three spoons of these tea leaves. Put this tea leaf into here. That's it. So you can see that color just emerging from it. So just add in a small piece of ginger into there. One cinnamon stick, one star anise. So have four cardamoms, they go inside. One clove. Add in a spoonful of um, fennel seeds. So now let's give this a gentle stir and bring it to a boil as you once you finish this. Now we want this to simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, just let it to, you know, fuse in very well. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes and the uh, tea leaves and the spices have really infused well. You can really smell the aroma of it. It's coming out magnificently. So at this point, um, this is completely up to you. You can add sugar and we've, we used to do that for quite a few years, but we tend to not put sugar into our beverages these days. So. I'm gonna add in some condensed milk because it's got this nice thickness and this sweetness to it. And it just suffices our sweet cravings. So just add in that condensed milk, but feel free to add some sugar if you want, either white or brown sugar, um, either one is good. And this is overall one tablespoon of condensed milk. It's just a little bit sticky, so uh, it gets a bit messy, but yeah, just um, one tablespoon. Um, around that much. So as a matter of fact, uh, when my mom was growing up in Tanzania and East Africa, um, in those days, because they, they are absolutely, the best like, tea I've ever had is in Tanzania. And uh, she says that they used to actually make their masala chai with uh, condensed milk as opposed to just putting in sugar, uh, which, you know, I was kind of used to because that's, that's the way I've had it for many, many years, ever since growing up. You can see that nice color coming into it, that chai color just emerging there. So, so it's got that milky color to it, but just adding a little bit more milk just to give it more color, more vibrance. And uh, that would be uh, good enough to, to just um, get enough of the milk that you need. So it's up to your desired strength, um, how much you can put in more. Some people actually like having milk or some people actually like having tea, which is really milky and it's a bit more vibrant, a bit more bright. I kind of like it to be in that midpoint range. I don't like it to be too dark. But I don't like it to be too bright either. So I'm gonna add in a, a tiny pinch of salt just to balance out the flavors. Now I'm, I'm gonna bring this to a boil again and let it simmer for another three to five minutes and then we should pretty much be done by that time. Okay, you saw how to make masala jai. Absolutely delicious. Well worth making. If, you, if you've never had it before, just give it a go and you will see that there's levels when it comes to just having regular tea and having masala chai. Just another galaxy. So with that said, like the video, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, hit the notification bell icon so that you are informed of our daily releases, share this content to as many people as possible, comment below what beverages you like for us to make for you in the future. And with that said, catch you in the next one.